Ah, good morning. Welcome to Saturday. Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. Yeah, <laughs> a beautiful evening spent at Windows. Arrived yesterday afternoon at about four o'clock. And yeah, amazing, amazing evening spent. We had some rain, we had locust infestation, we had beautiful bry. Yeah, what an amazing place. See behind me over here, I've got the, a small dam, small lake. It's probably a windmill spinning in the background. An amazing location where I am. Can't believe where I am, but really special. So it's been an awesome evening and looking forward to a great day. Yeah, so as I said, off to Pitsolovata now, Marydale, then Pitsolovata. Spend a few hours there, do some drone flights, do some filming, do some photos. Should be epic. Looking forward to it. We'll chat to you later. Bye. So it should be quite amazing. I've just had a lovely cup of tea with the guy that's staying at the moment. Lickies, I think his name is. So busy walking across to, to see Pitsonovata, the station. But yeah, interesting. I'm glad I'm here. Glad that I made it. Uh, I'm glad that I decided to come, so that's very cool. But yeah, it should be a, a good, interesting, interesting morning. Yeah, we'll chat to you as we progress at filming some stuff around. Cheers. Amazing. As you can see over here, Pitsonovata, that's the name of the, the train station. It's one of those places that people just always need to come to. It's like the Timbuktu's of the world. I'm going to be doing a little bit of a train track thingy just now. So as you can see, apparently this is a big thing that people do. They do train surfing. So let's do train track surfing. Oh, as you're doing, oh, see, you fall off. <laughs> let's try again. Train track surfing at Pitsonovata. There we go, train track surfing. Oopsie. Oh, quite amazing to be here, uh, very chuffed to be here. Uh, let's see, I'm sure there's no trains coming. Oh, fall off, uh, collapse into the water. There's been a couple of stories that I've heard over the last few days. The one that it was a Pitz Sonnerwater. So the trek boer used to come through here and they met with the owners or the, they met with the, the people that had dug the pit and they had said that which means it was without water so it means a pit without water then the other one was that it was built in a flay and because the water when it did rain obviously the water would come through and it was actually a pit that was under water so yeah the two different stories about pits on a water that was established many years ago it was apparently one of the top train stations in the country it was well awarded they won a couple of prizes let me see if I can do a bit more train surfing, train track surfing. Oh, it's a little bit better, a little bit better, a oh, little bit better. Train track surfing at Pitsonovater. There we go. That's better, that's better balance. Oh, oh, oh. We fall down. Oh no. Cool. Oh, pretty windy, but lovely to be here. As you can see, 
very interesting place. And I can say that I've been to Kutsunavater. And for those that don't believe me, I've been here. <laughs> cool. Post office, which is right ahead of me. So that's where the original post office was for the Pitsonavata, apparently when it was in its heyday, a vibrant place. Lots of people used to go here, lots of people used to get everything done here from a post office point of view. Uh, ahead of us is the old Handelshuis, so this is like the old little supermarket that the people used to come and buy all their produce from, buy all their stuff from. Oh, they've got some birdies, sorry birdies. Won't disturb you, sorry birdies. Got some birdies here. Sorry birdies. Sorry birdies. Won't hurt you. Okay, I think we're now walking towards the old police station. One of the old buildings. Um, we're walking across to that. Let's take a walk inside and see. See what we can see on the inside of it. Oh. Sure. Sure. Very interesting. Very interesting. This is the old jail, the old police cell. Very cool. There we go, We've done a nice couple of walk around, spits on a water. That was a good good little session that. Really enjoyed it. But I hope you enjoyed the little trip, the little story of Pits on a water. You can see the pit in the background, me there, and yeah, that's Pits on a water. Glad I came, glad I made it eventually. That's quite cool. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed that. Cheers, bye. There we go. Oh, what a beautiful day. I'm busy sitting at Bundu's caravan at the moment. Really cool, very nice and chilled. Just had a lovely shower, outside shower. It's above me over there. That was very lacquer. Thoroughly enjoyed it. It's a little windy today. Couldn't fly the drone at Pitsonovata, but got back safely from Pitsonovata. And now I want to get my map ready for tomorrow. Because we're going to Van Veeks Vlei in the morning. And then after that, we, I'm heading off through to Brun Vlei and then to Luriesfontein. So, yeah. Need to get the map sorted. I'm sure it's going to be fun to try and get it sorted in the wind. That makes it all the much more fun, isn't it? I would assume, I would think. So yeah, just thoroughly enjoying the, 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 the location that I'm in. It's really a stunning, nice wind blowing, westerly wind apparently. Uh, hot as hell out there. It was about 35, 36 degrees on the bike this afternoon. So the jacket was full of sweat. I was full of sweat. 
But yeah, well worth it. I enjoyed Pitsonavata. That was the topic for the day. That was the journey for the day. So it was very cool. And I'm sure we'll chat later. Have a good one. Cheers. Bye.